Now, the business news this morning is dominated by the collapse into administration of the music retailer HMV. The announcement overnight adds another name to the growing list of casualties caused by a slump in high street sales. Last week, the camera shop chain Jessops went under, closing 187 stores after failing to keep up with the competition from digital phone cameras. In November, the electrical retailer Comet finally bit the dust after years of struggling. And in September, JJB Sports went into administration after several failed attempts to find a buyer. Rival Sports Direct bought for 550 stores. And in May, Clinton Cards was saved at the last minute by an American buyout of 400 of its UK stores, which saved 4,500 jobs. A similar rescue by a private equity company in March saved over 330 branches of game. In January, clothing chain Peacocks was uh, rescued from massive debts by rival Bon Marsh, saving over 200 stores. Well, let's go live to the city. Our business presenter, Joel Hill. So, Joel, looking there at uh, what has been happening over the high street, some have been saved and some haven't. So what do we think is the future for HMV? Well, yeah, I mean, is it going to be another Jessops, i.e. every store closes because there is no future for the business in any way, shape or form? Or is there something that is salvageable? Uh, we will find out uh, soon, I imagine. Deloitte are taking over the running of the company. Uh, they will be looking through the stores and the books and working out how many of the 239 stores are making money, how many of them have the potential to do so. You have to bear in mind, Charlotte, that this was coming for some considerable amount of time. HMV's management were few they tried to find ways of uh, turning the business around. They sold water stones. Uh, they sold off other parts of the business that were, <laughs> ironically, profitable. The music arm, uh, a prof uh, Apollo. Uh, but the share price went into a sort of terminal de decline. I think we can see now what's happened to HMV share price. Just a decade ago, it was one of the big players on the FTSE 100. It, uh, shares were changing hands for well over £2 uh, a share. And you can see it went into steep decline over the last uh, 24 months or so. Uh, the business turned uh, loss-making. Uh, it started amounting and amassing debt. And ultimately, Charlotte, what happened was it lost both the support of its suppliers, absolutely vital when it comes to stocking up, of course, on uh, video games, DVDs and CDs, uh, and it also uh, lost the support of the banks. And the, the, the plug ultimately has been pulled. One more thing I just want to show you, actually, just looking at the share of the market, and this tells the story for you. Uh, this is where the total share of music sales. You can see that HMV has uh, really lost ground uh, to the supermarkets that eat up as much of its business as it owns, uh, and Amazon and iTunes in particular. Uh, that's the share of musical sales. So the way in which we pay for musical sales has changed and also buying less music, as you can also see there. HMV shares suspended, shares in Burberry.